1995, the CCP included the CG on its list of Shijia, or prohibited groups, together with Falun Gong, the Shouters, and other groups. Freedom House and other NGOs published several confidential documents of the CCP, inciting the place to destroy the CG and eradicate it like a tumor. Personally, I was a senior high school teacher in Gansu province, China. In August 2011, I joined the Church of America, and in 2012, I became a middle-level church leader. In the same year, I went to Hong Kong for a church meeting, which was noticed by Chinese authorities. Upon my return home, I was wanted for arrest and had to leave my home and live in hiding. It was a very difficult and dangerous life. But I managed to avoid the capture until 2016, when I was informed by a very reliable source that my arrest was imminent. I had to use someone else's household registration booklet to get an ID card and a passport with another name on it, but with my photo. Finally, I fled to the U.S. in 2016. Afterwards, I learned that the CCP was still harassing and threatening my mother for the information about my whereabouts. My mother got cancer, but she cannot afford the expensive treatment, and she doesn't have anybody to take care of her. As a daughter, I couldn't be more pain because I can't be there by my mother's side until the end of her life. Just because of my beliefs in Almighty God, the CCP ruined my family, deprived me of my job, of my normal life, and made a fugitive out of me. I am just one among hundreds of thousands of persecuted CG members in China. Based on incomplete statistics, just between 2011 and the end of 2017, at least 400,000 CG members were arrested. 101 have died as a result of persecution since 1991.